What's up guys, Mike here. I've been getting a lot of requests from a lot of you guys asking me to do an update video on Lycandia Holdings, ticker symbol LCA, soon to be merging with Golden Nuggets and the ticker will be changing to GNOG. Now the reason why I haven't done an update for this stock is because I didn't see it at a right time for me to recommend it as a buy, but right now it is finally on an uptrend and we will go over everything onto this video that you guys need to know about this and what to do and what to do for this uptrend, when to buy, what prices to buy at, and what prices you should be thinking about selling this stock once it goes up. So I'm gonna go over all that detail in this video for you guys so you guys know what is going on with the stock, give you all the small details about it, and anything you should know whether it's a good time to buy, what price might be a good time to buy, or whether you should just sell and get out because the merger might not be happening, right? But just hold on there, keep watching to the end. I'm gonna make sure you guys have all your answers questioned and I'm gonna give you that update you guys have been asking for. So asking for, sorry. So with that said, make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, it really helps out my channel. I really appreciate it. So with that said, let's begin, yeah! All right, all right, guys, let's check out what's going on with Lacandia Holdings, ticker symbol LCA, soon to be merging with Golden Nugget. Now, the reason why I haven't made any videos on this stock is because it was on a pretty much full downtrend ever since they announced that they're going to be working on the merger and they posted it on the SEC. And it's been on pretty much a full downtrend. So I didn't want to recommend this stock to anybody for them to lose money because I know personally I don't like losing money. So why would I recommend a stock when it's on a downtrend and cause someone else to lose money? So that is the reason why I stopped recommending it and I didn't post any updates with it until I was fully sure that this stock is going back on an uptrend and as we can see the horizontal curve has started to shift in a uptrend mode the macd has not crossed over yet so it's not giving a full buy signal and that's usually okay you usually have to actually buy before the macd crosses over and before the tsi crosses over because usually the macd and the tsi is a couple days uh behind so it's going to recommend you buy it at a couple days when the price is already a couple bucks up so that's why i i'm going to recommend you guys buy it before macd crosses over if you're deciding to buy the stock you should usually buy it a couple days before the MACD crosses over and the TSI crosses over. So what do I see at a good price right now to buy this stock at? I think right now, if you can get this uh, under 14 bucks, it's great. If you can get it at 1350, that is amazing deal. But right now, I think uh, the, the stock is pretty much back on an uptrend. So it's gonna be a lot harder for you guys to hit that $13.50 set. But if you can get this under 14, and if your average is pretty high, over $15, $16, 17 I know some of you guys have this at $17 and $18. Definitely average down, guys, if you can. If you have the, the money amount left over, if you have the buying power, definitely average down because you can generate your money faster. Your average, instead of being 17 bucks, you can get it down to 15 That's a lot better just in case the stock doesn't go up that much. But I do definitely see the stock uptrending. As you can see, it's gone going on an uptrend movement, which is usually a bullish signal. Now, at any time, this could turn into a bearish signal all over again. Usually, what would ha cause that to happen is, let's say the merger is pushed off like another month or two, right? They said the merger is supposed to be sometime in October, which is this month right now. And this usually should be a good sign for the stock to continuously move uptrend. But if they push off the merger or they cancel the merger, guess what? Yeah, this stock is going to continuously be on a full downtrend, probably go back to around nine, 10 bucks. And a lot because a lot of people are going to freak out and sell out because why would I waste my time waiting for the next merger, which could take another year or two, right? So nobody wants to waste time. Nobody wanna want, wants to put their money into something that might take a year or two before another merger happens. But that's not happening right now. Um, the the sorry the ceo tillman is actually a very very good 
CEO. This guy has made billions of dollars on a ton of his companies. This guy has made a lot of people very, very rich. And this merger is actually going to help him out a lot. All right. Now, Gina Golden Nugget is a very, very profitable company. All right. I've mentioned this several times in my other videos. It is more profitable than DraftKings. All right. A lot of people compare this stock to DraftKings because both of these stocks deal with online gambling, deal with online bets. But with the thing is with Golden Nuggets, only 5% of it is about bets on sports, where pretty much uh, DraftKings is about 90 to 100% of their money comes from betting on sports like the NFL, NBA, and baseball and other sports, right? So that is why Golden Nuggets is on a much higher level, a lot better position. Uh, they're already going to be posting some good earnings, I believe. I, I, I can't predict the future, but I do see this company in a positive earnings zone, so it could continuously uptrend. Now, where do I see this company going? I personally feel like this stock will move up to $20 to $40 within the next month or two. And if you have the patience, you could hold this long term. It could compete with DraftKings and even hit up to $40, $60, 70 Because as you can see, DraftKings uh, just pretty much had all times highs it hit around 65 bucks and now it's on a full draft uh, downtrend I might make another video on DraftKings coming up because it is definitely entering a zone to be a buy very very soon and I'm going to recommend it very soon not yet right right now I definitely see this stock on a full downtrend uh, it's already uh, MACD and TSR is already saying get the heck out and sell because the stock is going to continuously go down and I would not recommend anyone buying it right now. So anyways, oh, actually, let me show you. As you can see, uh, when the merger happened, it just kept going up, all right? And I don't see uh, Golden Nugget being on a full bearish uh, bullish signal like this, but I definitely see it at least doing half the amount, right? It should be able to do at least half the amount of uh, stock going up to around twenty to thirty dollar area. Uh, I hopefully maybe forty bucks. I really hope I see it there. But I think somewhere between twenty to thirty is what you can potentially see Golden Nugget at. And if you hold this long term, you might see this go to forty, fifty, sixty dollars as well. But as you can see, everything in DraftKings is on full bearish signal. If you own this stock, make sure you take your uh, profits and get out and buy it again when uh, when it's on a up, uptrend again. And I might be making a video on this very soon and telling you what to do with it. So like I said, Golden Nuggets is in a pretty good position. It, it went up, it died, and it's back to uh, an uptrend. As you can see right now, it is consolidating, right? It is doing us a lot of justice, all right? This isn't bad. As long as it keeps uh, going sideways across into this little uh space this is a very bullish signal right as especially if it's uptrending like this right this is very good right this is a very good bullish sign especially as you can see the horizontal uh graph is moving on an uptrend this is good too right all these are bullish signals and it's going to be extremely bullish once the macd crosses over and once the tsi crosses over those are going to be very good bullish signals that's usually going to be telling you a buy signal and by the time that happens usually the stock has already gone up maybe a dollar or two and uh, you should have bought it uh, earlier right so as you can see i'm pretty hopeful on lca i have a ton of shares i've been loading up on this stock and i'm definitely still not done loading up i still want to own more shares before this stock goes up and pops again like this. I really want to see an up pop like that. You know, that that would have been nice, right? These are little pops. They're nice, but why can't we see pops up like this, you know, or pops up like this, you know, like a little signal just tiny as heck just popping up. That would be pretty awesome to see, but I'd rather see a, a, a filled out candlestick than a half and a tiny candlestick because that means it's going to be fully uptrend. So I'm pretty stuck on this stock i've loaded up shares i'm holding it i am not selling this until merger happens i definitely see merger happening sometime this month you'll probably get something in your email 
once they announced the merger date on when to start voting for this company's merger. So with that said, I hope I answered all your questions. If you have any other questions, leave a comment below and let me know and I'd be happy to answer any other questions you guys have. Thanks again for watching my video. As always, make sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so YouTube could alert you when my next video comes out. Also, feel free to add me on Instagram. I pretty much post it daily, so if you want to be part of that, make sure to add me there as well. I post any trades I make, anything I buy, sell, I post it on Instagram. Also, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys are holding, what position you are at with your LCA, what your average price is, and I could give you a little bit of advice if you guys need any help, whether to average down or whether you should add more shares. I'll try to give you my best opinion, and the rest is going to be all up to you whether you want to buy or sell. So make sure to leave a comment below. Let me know. Also, if you want two free stocks from the stock market, Webull gives two free stocks, one for just signing up to use their platform, and a second stock when you make a deposit of $100 or more, they'll give you a second stock worth up to $1,600. I really recommend you guys getting Webull because it has a really good level two where you guys can check what the buy orders and sell orders are coming in. And I personally use Webull's level two very heavily, and it really considers my buy and sell decision when it comes to making a buy or sell. And Webull's level two, I can tell you it is really, really good. And it has helped me tremendously for a lot of my buys and sells. Also, if you want another free stock, Robinhood gives a free stock. All you got to do is just sign up for the app. Check the, my link in the description below if you want a free stock from Robinhood and two free stocks from Webull. Thanks again for watching my video. And until next time, make money with Mike.